Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, thank you for being here. But if you could really, really help me out, I would greatly appreciate it by please subscribing. You don't necessarily have to, but you've been really helping me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. OK, so the clip today. So my ultimate favourite hairstyle. Yes, you see the ultimate favourite hairstyle of mine. Lots of volume, that real classic, but quite smart and sleek combed pompadour look with tons of volume. Now you may think that you have to have super thick hair to have a style like what I've got going on here. Now I'm growing out the back now so what I'm sort of, I've always loved the pompadour style from when I had uh, an undercut. I really love that sort of Elvis inspired sort of era of hairstyles in those 1950s with the real sort of uh, the high top volume and the shade sides and things. I wore that for many many years all throughout my teenage years. Um, then now what I'm trying to explore with over the past two years is growing my hair out longer. Now recently, through a bit of a miscommunication, I had a bit of a haircut, which, not a bit of a haircut, I had rather a lot of haircuts, um, when it should have just been a trim, because I'm growing the length of my hair out. Um, but ultimately, what it has opened me up to now is being able to explore all different hairstyles with how I used to have them, but longer versions of them. So this is my ultimate favourite hairstyle, with the pompadour, so the high sort of skyscraper volume on the top. As you can see, it looks super, super cool, um, but the sides grown out. So what I've done is the sides today I've got sort of almost swooped back so they meet together at the, uh, at the at, towards the nape of my neck downwards and I've got everything sort of going up downwards and then sort of meeting towards a sort of a point towards the nape of my neck. Now this style is really really super cool and I absolutely love it. Ultimately my absolute favourite hairstyle. But you may think that you need ultra thick hair. You don't. You don't. To have a a pompadour style like this, you don't. Of course it helps, but with fine textured hair, you can manipulate your hair, I would say, a little bit more easier than what you can with thick hair, because of course thick hair can be heavy, of course. Thick hair has its own sort of structure and it has, it supports itself, whereas fine hair doesn't. So you have to use the right sort of tick, uh, trip. <sighs> Let's get my words back in. Start again. <laughs> Tricks and tips to make hair look thick and full. That's what I do on a daily basis. So ultimately, my hair is more air than hair. I always say this, and it's all smoke and mirrors, to be quite honest with you. It's all tricks and tips said at that time, right? Um, and using the right products can get you the ultimate fantastic sort of hairstyle. and um, Really super, super cool sort of style, which looks really, really great towards the sides, the back, the top of all that volume going on. How do I do it? So ultimately, what you want to do is you want to start off with a volumizing shampoo and conditioner. Now, volumizing shampoo and conditioner, fantastic. You want to have a look for one which is for fine hair or even for flat hair. Now, ultimately, for me, what I really, really love to use at the moment, um, and I have been using it, and we will be we will be reviewing this very, very shortly on the channel, is the Tony and Guy Volume Addiction Shampoo Fibre Strengthening System provides volume and body for fine hair. Shampoo conditioner, this one here, so I have not reviewed this on the channel yet. I've been using it for a couple of days and I absolutely love it. Um, really amazing smell, it's for men and women's hair, um, but I will be reviewing this shortly. But this is a fantastic product, which I really, really like, and it ultimately gets volume and body in the hair. You always want to pick a shampoo which is is typical for your hair. So for example, never if you've got fine and thin hair, never buy something smoothing or try and stay away from those sort of heavier, creamier type products. You always want to have something which is going to help you for volume and texture in your hair and for really helping plump that hair up, adding bulk to the hair, which ultimately fine hair lacks and fine hair doesn't support itself so easily. So therefore it falls flat. So you want to really start in the bathroom when your hair is wet, when you're doing a style like mine predominantly. OK, so after you've shampooed and you've conditioned your hair, then what you want to do is you want to use something for your roots. You want to add bulk to those roots and add bulk to that hair. What I'm using, and I haven't reviewed this yet, this is going to be coming up on my channel next, is the Bedhead Superstar Volumizing Thickening Spray. So this here is super, super cool. But first of all, I have to admit, when I sprayed it uh, throughout my hair dry, it was a really wet product. So I used it completely wrong. But you have to spray this through wet hair. I don't know if that's right, but I find it works best if you spray it through a wet hair, almost like a root lifting spray, which will targeting those roots to add bulk and to add thickness. Spray it all throughout your hair and then use a blow dryer in one hand and a brush like the rectangular sort of oblong one I've got here, and you want to really sort of control the sides back with a blow dryer in one hand, control the sides back if you've got longer hair like me, so slick it back at the side, slick it back on the opposite side, and then when you come towards the back of your head, what I've been doing is sort of lifting it up ever so slightly with a blow dryer, and then sort of making sure that I roll it off to one side, and then do the opposite 
to the opposite side. So then I know that the hair at the back, rather than just looking a mess, literally sort of elopes over and then sort of meets downwards, which looks really, really cool. So if you imagine, everything is sort of coming towards the nape of my neck. Now, next, what you want to do with the top of your hair, if you've got for a style like this, you want to really go through, take your time with a blow dryer in one hand, and then through, I always start at the back, because you don't want too much volume at the back, but you want a bit of lift, you don't want it to just be sat on your scalp. So therefore, with the with the blow dryer in one hand, and the brush, a little bit like this, vented brush, so you've got the air comes through it, it just makes that volumizing the hair much more easier, and much more effective. So lift it up slightly, talk towards the ceiling, and then sort of brush it down, then as you work your way in, section by section, lift up and as you come more towards the front lift up higher towards the ceiling so then when you come towards the front what you're doing is you're directing the hair right up to the ceiling my hair in the front is really really long it's kneed down by my chin now but what i just a tip there to make the hair appear even more thicker is when you dried your hair through take your root lifting spray or a spray like what i've got here the thickening superstar spray by deadhead is when you think you've done or you've finished drying your hair off spray it back through again with a light mist and then go back through and then from side to side, so the blow dryer in one hand, blow dry it off to one side, blow dry it off to the opposite side, because then what you're doing, you've got that volumized sort of dried stage one, then you go in, you've got a stage two, and then you've blow dried all that throughout your hair, and you're going all different directions, so you're getting that maximum lift and volume in your hair. Little tip here, if you wanted to wear a pompadour off to one side, like what I've got here, always dry your hair into the opposite direction. So if you're wearing your hair off to the left, always dry your hair off to the right. And if you're wearing your hair to the right, always dry it off to the left. Because what you're doing, you're going against the grain of that hair, and it's giving you more natural hold, more natural stability, and much more natural volume. Oh, look, I'm doing an update. <laughs> I do apologize about that. Next, so you've got that root lift, you've got the shampoo, the conditioner working its way, giving you that thickness, that volume, that texture. Then you have got the root lift in product. Here, I've got the thickening spray, which is amazing. I'd really recommend. Then, to give myself more structure, because ultimately fine hair lacks that structure, which supports itself, which of course thick hair does. What I then use is the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Volumizing Styling Powder. This stuff is fantastic. So then I part my hair all the way through, and then I tap it all through the roots, and then what happens is I sort of rub it in uh, my roots here, and then what you feel is the hair almost sort of inflating, lifting up away from the scalp slightly, and then what it does is give you that really nice texture, that really nice volume. So then what I do is I go in afterwards with my thickening paste. Now, these products, they're not super expensive at all. Um, the VO5 the thickening paste, which I absolutely love at the moment, gives hair lift and volume for fuller hold. Then what I do is I rub about up about two marble size amounts throughout my hands, warm it through your hands, and then go through the roots, pull it up towards the ceiling, and then go around, sort of off to one side, back one side, really get some direction, some character in the hair. And then what you want to do is start lifting all the hair up and then directing the hair over and backwards. So literally take a little bit of product in your hands, a little bit more, because of course, less is more, and then you can build on that product. And of course, that way you're adding thickness, you're adding bulk to the hair, which fine and thin hair can lack. So take a little bit of product and slick the sides, and then with my favorite blasting free spray, spray a little bit of this, grab your brush or your comb, and then sort of smooth the sides back. And then all I've literally done here is smooth the sides back and then direct towards the nape of my neck, and then here towards the nape of my neck. And then you've got that texture. And then what I like to do is take sort of as I'm going backwards with the hair, sort of I've, I've used product and I've poured everything backwards and I've kept that volume. What I've done is then sort of I've grabbed my hair and I've sort of slightly forced it forward a little bit and I've spread, held my head forward. OK, and then I've sprayed this all throughout my hair. Then when you flip your head back, you're going to get that real high sky scraper volume. And you think, how enough am I going to style my hair? Well, here's the trick. Slowly, as you work backwards, comb it back. Don't touch the texture or anything underneath. Comb it back. So literally, comb it back in place, then come forward, comb it back again, come forward, comb it back again, come forward, comb it back again. So ultimately on the top, you get that real nice sleekness. Now you can see the direction of the hair because I've got some grown out highlights in my hair, which just adds some texture and some character to the hair as well. Ultimately, then just sort of keep everything sleek and smooth. A finishing spray of this blasting free spray I find amazing all over the hairstyle. And then if you do need to tidy anything up, grab a mirror, check that all the hair matches. So for me, all the hair should meet in the middle and then sort of come downwards towards the nape of my neck. And then on the top here, everything should be super sleek. So then you don't want to be raking into the hair, getting rid of that volume. You just want to be going across the top just by using the prongs of the, of the brush. So you're just directing and sort of guiding all the hair sort of in place over the top so you can sort of see 
everything's polished, it's finished off, and you've got your ultimate sort of style. And I think that looks really, really cool. I hope it really works for you. I love this style. It gives me a lot of confidence wearing a volumized sort of pompadour style. I love that because it's so sort of quirky, it's edgy, but yet it can be smart and super, super formal. I've worn this style with shaved sides as an undercut out to... Uh, out to different functions from work when all before pre-COVID, of course, um, going out for dinner and things with family, um, all sorts of occasions, uh, sort of barbecues in the summer. It looks really, really cool. Um, dressing it down sort of in those nice sort of those nice chinos and you've got that nice sort of cotton linen shirt and everything. It just looks really super cool. But then, of course, it works with super sleek sort of Chelsea boots and that power suit, that really ready to go, real formal, switched on, ready for work look. Um, I work in finance and accountancy, so it's always a bit of a shock when I have a hairstyle like this and you walk into the office. But ultimately, it looks super cool and, it, and it's edgy. It gives you confidence. And, it, and you know what? It makes people look and it's a head turner. And you know what? Never ever judge somebody on their hairstyle. I'm an accountant. You wouldn't think that an accountant would wear a hairstyle like this, would you? There we go. Okay, so really hope you've enjoyed this clip. I do apologise that I haven't taken you through it as I've been doing it, but at the moment I haven't necessarily sort of got there sort of with how I would want to do that, sort of me sort of talking myself through it and doing it at the same time. We will get there in the future, but for now it's just me talking through the, th talking through my favourite ultimate hairstyle. And I hope you've taken away some tips. But because I haven't uh, filmed this in my clip, if you'd like to ask any questions, I will certainly get back to you the best I can and as quickly as I can and give you some hints, tips and tricks to have the best hair for fine or thin or even thinning hair. Because ultimately, fine thinning hair, fine hair's different, thin hair's different, thinning hair's different. All can look super cool, super amazing on men and women. Okay, thanks very much indeed for watching my clip. And until next time, wishing you great, super cool hair. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you then. Bye for now.